guys, um, right, today I'm making another knife, um, I've just finished one, uh, which the lady in the shop up the road decided she wants for her husband, um, she hasn't seen the knife yet either, you know, it's quite strange, but anyway, uh, so I'm going to make another one, I'm hoping to get it finished by the end of the week, um, it's, so it's only Monday, so I'm hoping to get it done by Thursday, Friday, and um, so I'll take it up, show her, and she might leave one this one instead. This one I'm going to make out of this piece of, or some of this, uh, moose horn, um, which I picked up, and then it's looking good. Um, I think I'm going to use this piece for the handle to keep the curve on it. I'm going to take this down a little bit and smooth it up, um, just to make it more user friendly. Um, and then I think I'm going to use probably this piece here um, for the base of the sheath I'll split it down the middle carve it out that could be the bottom of the sheath and then I'll have a leather top um, with a leather thong to go around the belt so anyway I'm going to um, start getting it formed um, and get back to you right then um, at the moment what I'm doing is I've picked out the piece of handle I want to use for the base of my sheath, which is uh, this piece here. Um, I've cut it in half and the centre and marked off where I need to carve out for the blade to sit in. Uh, like that. But obviously that needs to be filed down slightly just so the blade, when it pushes into the sheath, will slide into the section up a bit. Um, so I'm in the process of doing that on this side, um, as you can see. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll get both sides done um, and the blade fitted in, you know, and we'll see how well it fits. I know, right, um, the sh bottom part of the sheath's done. Um, I don't tend to film everything because it's you know, boring for it to be honest. <laughs> you want to watch someone filing something away, but anyway, that's the kind. That's basically the two halves now, um, been hollowed out for the blade, slightly chamfered at the top um, where the blade goes in, just so that when you push it into the sheath, you know, it won't catch, there's no risk of it catching, it'll just push naturally straight in. Uh, so the two halves are currently epoxied together, um, I need to let them go off, um, and then basically I can shape, shape the sheath to, to the sort of round kind of well, it's actually slightly going to be an ovoid um, design that I want finished. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get on with the handle now for the blade. So, um, I'll see you in a bit. Right then. Um, okay, well, I've jumped quite a bit ahead now. Um, I, I had intended to sort of show you every little step, but to be honest, the film would have been a bit too long, really. Um, right, the shoes sort of made, I need, I need to shape it but, and polish it and whatnot. But so there's the sheath there, you can see where my markings, um, this is another blade, um, so basically that will just pop in there, what I'll do is chamfer this off and reduce its general oval size because it is quite square at the moment, round it down and then uh, basically they'll have an, a leather piece, um, that will, the same as that's in the knife coming off the top, only to about there on the blade, uh, just to act as a sleeve, um, which will lock the blade in, because it will be uh, wet formed around the blade, or around the handle I should say. Um, so yeah, and then the blade itself, uh, which I've done, I've changed the design, I was going to use the uh, the bit that goes on the head, um, the name of which escapes me, but changed my plan, um, because I had this piece, so I've cut it down, I've cut, you know, slid them off here, um, and I've got leather, nickel, and then another piece of leather, and then obviously this curved piece which fits in the hand quite nicely, which is why I chose it. And what I'll do with this is, is once again, bring these in, taper these in um, towards the blade to act as a kind of bolster. Um, and you can sort of see here, I won't take the plastic off because I'm protecting the blade. Um, but it kind of fits in like that, and kind of like that. 
which I think is really nice. Um, and it will just pull out, use, and then pop the blade back in the thing, back in the ship. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to finishing this and seeing what it comes out like. Um, completely new project for me. I normally use wood in the handles and maybe a piece of anvil at the start. Um, but yeah, I decided to try and make one of these shears and um, I think I might try and pin it, which is the traditional way of doing it, is, is to pin it to give it some strength. At the moment it's just glued, but I'll, um, I'll have a go at pinning it, I think. Um, yeah, it's, it's good good fun. It takes some work, you've got to really sort of take your time. But, um, I think the finished article should hopefully look pretty good. But anyway, I'll show you when I'm, I'm sort of on the way there. Right, well, I've finished my knife. Um, pretty pleased with it. Um, wasn't sure what to do at the end with the sheath. Um, but I, I think it works really. Um, it's basically along the kinds of sort of a Laplandish kind of sheath where it hangs on the belt on for lanyard. Um, there. Um, but I'm not overly fantastically happy with it. Um, it works, I mean, it ain't going to fall off. Um, so, anyway, so we've gone from a piece of antler um, and a blade to a finished knife. And then um, here it is. So, there's the hang on the belt. Um, there's the finished handle and blade. Put some macro. There's the finished article. You see where I've chamfered it down and tapered it in, um, and that will fit in to there into the sheath. There's the leather wrap around the sheath, and um, I've held it in with a couple of silver pins. And um, you can see in there that there's, there's just one, one there, and one up here. Um, and the whole package works nicely, and it's not going to fall out. Um, yeah, I think for a first effort, quite happy with it. Thanks for watching.